Hi, I'm Karen from Stamping on the Back Porch. Today we're going to make this simple handmade gift idea. It's a cute Stampin' Up! Birdhouse candy box. And it will be easy to adapt this to any size that you want, but this will be a really easy way to make a paper birdhouse. Okay, we'll get started. My birdhouse is pretty small because what I'm going to be putting inside, this little candy favor box, I put these two little Hershey bars together with dimensionals. So this is going to be my size. And then the next thing I would need to do is just measure these. I can see that I'm going to want a box that's two inches wide and one inch on the width and one inch of work there too because I'm going to do a little square box. So that's where my measurements have come from. These are the pieces of paper that I'm using. So I have, this is my first piece, and that's gonna be scored at every inch. Then I have my one and a quarter inch circle punch for the birdhouse. I have a base, a base for the birdhouse, a roof, and then the front and back. Okay, so taking my two inch by five inch piece, I'm going to score it at every inch. So one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. And then I'm going to fold that into a box. So as you can see, when it's going to fold up and it's going to be just the right size box to put these little things in. So I like to attach this with tear and tape but you can use anything that's, you know, you want it to be a little stronger than snail. So it just, um, it matters a little more on a 3D item here that might have a little more pull and put on it. Okay, so here is my first step. And so I also just want to make sure you notice I could have done like four up. So you can be really inventive with this. I like to just share the basic idea and then you can go from there. So now I have my front and back, and they are each two inches by three and a quarter. I'm gonna take each of these. Oh, and by the way, if this is looking really familiar, if you've already seen this video, I'm gonna connect to this video at the end of this one, so you'll see this. We are basically using the same idea, and look how fun it is to get totally different looks. So this is all about, um, adding ideas to our repertoire here. So on this, I'm going to just start in the middle. Now I'm not really caring about this being exact, so I will just measure this. However, I'm gonna get my roof like that. And I'm going to do both my back and front. And then I'm gonna show on the other video, I showed one way to connect this, so this time I'm gonna show a different way. This time I'm gonna take these two pieces, I'm gonna put this right along my scoring here, and then I am going to score at a half inch. And then I'm gonna turn this one, well, it's a quarter inch, sorry, quarter inch. I knew that didn't look big enough to be that. So I do this on both, and then cut right across the top. Whoa, look at this one. This one's gonna be a really slanted one, but it's okay, because I have one done. But you see how those are gonna fold right over then? So this is where I'm gonna be attaching my glue. So once I've done that on both pieces, then I'm going to put it through the, this uh, pine wood planks. So it kind of looks a little like wood. I'm using pool party just because that's the color in the bird here. But again, any color would work really well for this. So these are gonna go on the front and the back. And I am, oh, here we go. You know, this could be used for um, candy. These would be great little party favors. And I just think we all know a lot of bird lovers. It also just feels like a welcome spring. Talked about several other ideas in the last video too of what you could do with these. So I'll set these apart. Now, if I were going to have, say, four stacked up candy bars, which would work really great, this is just gonna come up to the 
up higher. So that's why these um, patterns, these ideas are just so adaptable. You can see they make great paper craft projects for adults and for kids to do, both. And ideas you can share with your kids or grandkids, as nieces, nephews. So I'll take these off. And put this one on. Okay, so this is the structure of our box. Now, we have two of these. We have a smaller piece that's just gonna go on the bottom here. And we can do that at the very end. And then this one, that's longer, it's three inches, is going to be the roof. So this is going to go through the corrugated. Um, and sometimes these thicker ones easily tear your paper. So the best trick for that is to take a little mister and mist the paper first. That kind of breaks the fibers down and it still will dry really quickly. So you really don't have to wait on it, okay? So on this one, the one I did yesterday, just a quick do a little reminder here, I put glue here and then just put the ends on it. Today we're doing it this way. Today I did these fold over flaps and you saw how easy they were. I didn't have to build them into the pattern at all. They're easy to do at the very end. And then I'm going to put this on. Now I find this easier to do one at a time here. So I'm going to do one side first. It was just easier to hold. I'm going to put this on and I'm going to just hold it a little bit till it gets its, till it stays stable. Shouldn't take too long, whoops, <laughs> except that I have to hold it still. So we'll see if I can make that happen. <laughs> I did it with both when I did the original one Then I thought, I think this would be easier if I just held one first because this is the trickiest part, getting the roof done. <laughs> so, but I just love all the different little things that you can do with this. I'm gonna see if that's gonna hold enough. Good, once it just holds enough, then we're good. Then I can come over here and do this one. Attach this. The nice thing about this multi-purpose glue is that it will dry clear so you won't know if any of it was on anything. So now again, I will just hold this long enough to just have it hold itself. I'm not quite there yet. And then the last thing to do is just to add the the circle and decorate it. I used bird ballad paper, but you could use a stamp, all kinds of things. So I hope you take this idea and create your own sizes, your own, your own uh, fun bird houses. And if you enjoyed this Stampin' Up! YouTube video, be sure you subscribe to my channel so you'll get more paper craft ideas for gifts and for cards. Thanks for watching.